next up, and it's also very interesting that just having chosen to serve these wines alphabetically, we've kind of got, it's become more and more difficult by coincidence. Um, so the next house is Louis Roederer, whose Jean-Baptiste Le Caillon is a hero of mine. He just seems to be absolutely on the ball as far as so much work in Champagne goes and is just trying all sorts of good new things and analysing everything. And again, now we are back to having a pair of wines from the same vintage. But one of them is um, the most expensive champagne, pretty much, Cristal, or? Yeah, 160. Uh, yeah, um, 160 points, whereas vintage Roderer would be closer to 60. So big price difference, no age difference. Um, Cristal, and, and of course, Roderer, a house that famously owns an enormous amount of vineyards, is in the forefront of conversion to biodynamics. Um, I think the fruit has a certain um, kind of vibrancy, sometimes kind of wildflower type um, aspect to it, rather different from the champagne norm. Um, Le Caillon told us that, that Cristal is made generally from the same parcels, 45 of them, on pure chalk. And the idea is to capture the purity of chalk with naturally low yields, but high ripeness. Um, I think uh, we were told that the 09 had 60% Pinot Noir. I think the fact sheet says 70%, but you get the picture. Um, a majority of Pinot Noir and a bit of Chardonnay. Um, we will find out the exact dosage, but we were told nine grams per litre at the time. Um, and it's, you know, it, it's, it's a very special wine that is released sooner, I think, than wine, uh, wine lovers and probably even the house would like. Uh, but that's because there's, there's just massive demand for it. Um, very racy, very elegant, lots and lots of tension, um, possibly lighter in texture than the vintage, but we shall see. Uh, vintage 09, um, always from uh, the same parcels, um, but more, um, more clay, less chalk, and um, a majority of maybe 70% Pinot Noir. Um, some of the Pinot Noir fermented in large old oak and this 09 has been released before the 08 which is not uncommon in Champagne. Um, the 09s are so fruity and round and accessible and 08s seems to be that the vintages ending in 08 uh, recently kind of 08 um, 98 and 88, they're all a bit, they do seem to be a bit sort of backward and with lots of structure and acidity. Um, so we shall see, and I noted that the 09 vintage seemed to be kind of absolutely bone dry, but rather majestic in structure. So I suspect that these two wines um, will be quite difficult to tell apart. Ele I think we've got 11, we haven't got 12 yet, is that right? Um, but I think we will need a little bit of time to look to decide which one is which. And it may well be that we think the 09 is, is lovely now and, and Cristal we would put away for a while. But I think we should mark the wines when we're giving them a mark for pleasure mark them for, for current pleasure um, rather than their, their uh, cellaring potential. So I hope you enjoy them. They, they should be some, a couple of lovely wines.
So champagne number 11 is... Uh, everyone thinks it's the vintage. So 11 is the vintage. And 12 is Cristal. There we go. So, is it? Hold on. Well, I agreed with you, and as ever, you're right. So 11 is the magnum of 09, and 12 is the crystal 09. Uh, but it was, I think it was the most difficult pair so far, actually, because they were both stunning wines, I thought. Um, and I'm afraid, you know, how are you going to sell Cristal when the vintage is this good? I don't know. <laughs> no, people, Cristal has its followers, and, and I'm sure you've run out of it, so that's okay. But uh, I would say, you know, just run for, for the vintage 09. It's looking stunning. It's got that lovely, lovely tension to it, um, and excitement, and, and vivacity, and whatever. Um, interesting to compare these two 09s with the pair from the Moet House, the Dom and, and the Moet Vintage. They seemed um, different, I think, more, more tension. Um, so, the um, Rodera Vintage 09 in Magnum, 70% Pinot Noir, 30% Chardonnay, dosage 9, quite high. Disgorged in 2016, and it was six years on the lees. The Cristal 09 was 60% Pinot Noir, 40% Chardonnay, dosage 8. Disgorged also in 16, and also six years on the lees. So, you know, there were, there were lots of things in common, and it tasted like it, didn't it? I thought, um, you know, th they, were, they were both absolutely stunning wines, and... Uh, if you're looking for um, how to spend your your pounds, I would say that uh, Rodera 09 is something to head for. Would there be anything different in the winemaking process between the two? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Well, as I said, it was about uh, terroir chalk in particular, but, uh, but winemaking. I think so. I would, I'm sure that Le Caillon would say that. Um, I don't think. Mark, um, Mr. Rodera, there's, there's no difference really in, in how the wines are made, is there? Key differences, terrible. Yeah. 